What is going on everyone? South Bay Rebel here with another review and today we're looking at the Walt Disney 100 year anniversary camera set. This thing is super cool. Uh, you can see that it is missing some pieces because I did pick this up at the thrift shop. Uh, it was in a bin mixed in with another set that I'm going to be reviewing later on in a future video. Uh, but I do have a solution to the missing pieces that I'll touch on later in the video. So I just want to dive right in and start going over how cool this thing really is. Now right away you can tell this has a presence about it, but it also has some playable features, some moving parts. You can hand turn that crank that I think is meant to represent turning or rolling the film. And you can also adjust the lenses, the wheel of lens options turns as well. That's also a neat feature. And it is an 18 and over set, but it's nice to see moving parts that really bring this set to life and give it that more realistic feel, especially because it is an 18 and over set. Looking at the other side, it is a little lacking compared to the front facing view, which I think offers the best option for displaying. But this side isn't without its aspects that draw the eye as well. You have the viewfinder there. I believe that's what that is but it also rotates and acts as a handle to this door. Inside the camera, they've made really nice use of the space by making it a drawing room of sorts for Walt Disney. So there's a little display kind of diorama within the camera itself that is nice to see since they didn't have to do anything with that space, but they did and it just adds that much more to this assembly. As you can see with Walt in there in his chair at his writing desk, there is a missing piece. It was a flat tile with a sketch of Mickey on it. So that was one of the pieces missing. And it was a pretty important one because it's unique to this set. Looking at it from this view again, you'll also notice that the film strip is missing, which is also a pretty prominent piece exclusive to this set. So what I had to do is go on to BrickLink and source those missing parts. The sketch tile and the film strip I was able to pick up pretty cheap. The Bambi figure, which was the last piece that was missing from this set, was the most expensive to source, but well worth it. I really wanted to get this set completed. This is what it looked like for the minifigure display before I got the Bambi figure from BrickLink. It is a director's clapboard as the base. It actuates with that top piece, making that clapping motion, which is pretty cool. And I've got it standing up on its side here, but as we lay it back down for display purposes, you can see it also looks good from multiple angles. There it is with Bambi incorporated back in once I got him in the mail. And you can see that it's a really nice array of figures. Uh, I never had the Bambi or the Dumbo figures before, and the Walt Disney figure is also pretty cool in its own right. You might also notice I've added in the tile with the Mickey sketch onto Walt's hand, and that nicely rounds this set of minifigures out. And just a side note, as I move Mickey back over, he does cover up those studs and block the ones behind him from view. I just wanted you to be able to see a clear shot of Bambi. Here's another look at that actuating part of the clapboard. So you can really kind of play with the way that this displays, the angles, and that's a nice feature that I think they should incorporate into more minifigure displays, whether it has the clapboard tie-in or not, just the ability to kind of open it up and rotate it. I imagine that would be a pretty easy build to do on your own if you want to display your minifigures in such a way. Looking at the camera now in full view and getting some close-ups, I love the reels on top and how they've incorporated that 100. Here it is now with the film in it and it just looks stunning. That film really is the piece of resistance. It ties it all together. It was a great looking piece even without it, but now that that's there, I can't imagine what it would look like if it didn't have it. So I'm more than happy to have added that part to this assembly to really bring it to completion and round it out. 
there weren't any other missing pieces it was just those three and it just so happened that they were all pretty unique to this set taking a closer look at the film strip itself you've got an ode to all kinds of classic disney movies which is neat as well and it really just ties into the anniversary aspect of this set even down to the minifigures everything seems chosen well nothing seems out of place the mickey the mini and black and white are obvious choices and then you've got bambi and dumbo which are characters from two of their oldest and most well-known movie franchises another neat feature is this slideshow kind of a scene you can't really tell that it's there looking at the minifigure display portion of the build from the side angle as it sits flat on a shelf but when you tip it towards you or look down into it from the top you can see that scene put together made up of those three different slides each one of them having a different picture on it so it's very cool how they did that as well and i really like that they just went the extra mile to add in as much detail and really pack in the detail as much as possible when it's all said and done this is a pretty remarkable set and i couldn't be happier having found this at the thrift store i picked that bin up for about 18 dollars and there was a, another set mixed in there i'm pretty sure it's the hogwarts castle that's about a $160 set, if I remember correctly. And I think this one retailed for around $100. So paying $18 bucks for both of those is incredible. This was missing three pieces. Yes, they were three very important pieces that really tied it all together. But otherwise, it was complete. And that in itself was pretty impressive, given that this did come from the thrift shop secondhand. Not sure if the other Hogwarts set is complete. Working on trying to put that back together now, but I'll do a follow-up video on that pretty soon. If you like Disney movies, this is a good set for you. And I think you can even get it on sale still at certain retailers if you look hard enough. And if you enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned because there's always more to come. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.